Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about plutonium, IW5, etc., etc. And I know a lot of you guys are probably come to this video to figure out why you aren't able to launch plutonium. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I really want to see more people on Modern Warfare 3 and all the lobbies or servers that are available, like Infect, etc., etc. And there's not a lot of people on IW5 actually because many people are either having issues launching it having issues fetching getting an tls issue they try to go to discord and they're they then they realize that is really no point of going to discord because they're not much help or they you can't make it under make it understandable for you to understand so i do have everything prepared for this specific video and i want to show you guys that i after a long time i finally figured out how to get plutonium working and with no issues and being able to launch any of these if you're going to launch multiplayer and zombies you're going to have to download the iw5 um, one updater so you can download the DLCs and stuff for this so that these two can work but we're only focusing on the IW5 multiplayer and as you can see it booted for me with no issues and I'm gonna explain to you um, a little bit about that so we're gonna go ahead over and I'm gonna open my security settings and I'm gonna tell you guys that I do have firewall enabled I don't have it disabled but I do have the platoonium app as an, as the allow path through my firewall so I know this isn't my a computer problem if it is a computer problem then make sure you check your settings and try again so I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering when you come to this video how do I fix this stupid TLS error that I've been getting for either months or weeks or just simply just downloaded Platonium and you tried to launch it for the first time and it worked for the first time but then after it's true boot it for the second time you, or the first time it can be very it can vary between person to person you'll get a TLS error which is tries to fetch a specific file from Plutonium's um, servers this is not your computer I want to make sure fully clear that this isn't your computer and and the way how I'm going to show you in this video can be completely different from on your ISP and as well your router. So you make sure that you do your research and make sure that your ISP does not have a feature that prote that basically protects you from threats like spam, malware, ransomware, etc cetera, etc cetera. and I'm going to explain to show you that in a minute. So you want to fix this. So you want to make sure that you got your PC already. You got it. You got you got it. You gave it access to firewall and you're still having the same issue. What well, the first thing I should recommend you to do is head over to your to your router settings and you'll need to head over to your firewall. This I have it set up for my file right now. And as you can see, I have I have medium security. So basically, if I click medium security, security, it will block all these these, you know, apps, you know, as to protect myself. But as well, you can also go to the minimum or custom security, which you can disable the entire firewall. This can happen. This can actually, actually temporarily fix the issue, but it's not permanent. Because even if you disable it, yeah, plutonium will recognize that firewall is disabled. But if it happens again, then this has nothing to do with the router. And this is something that has to do with your ISP. So you'll have to go over to your ISP, which I have right here. We have Cox, and you can see that my gateway is online. And you probably want to know how can I, if I if I have Cox specifically, if you have Cox, how do you can how can you um, fix this issue so it doesn't happen to you? Now, certain ISPs do have a feature which uh, which basically you can enable from their website, not the router itself. And you can basically, in case so if so you can basically, it can basically protect you from online threats to sending your information, et cetera, et cetera, to third-party servers or something like that. So your information is basically protected. Now, for me, I have it disabled, and I'm not going to show you guys more because I don't want to show any IPs here. But if you go head over to more on your Cox page, if you're on PC, it'll be much easier. And you'll head over to my services. Now you have an option called Paranormic Wi-Fi Advanced Security. It may be something completely different on your end if you have any other ISP other than Cox, which is C-O-X, not C-O-C-K, C-O-X. And you can enable this. And basically what this does is basically like the antivirus for your Wi-Fi, for your, inter for your router. 
This can protect you on a lot of things, but can be very fucking annoying, especially if you are trying to play games that are modded and they're trying to connect to an external service that either Microsoft or the router doesn't recognize because most people don't come along and use it. So you want the best bet is to disable it and leave it disabled. And once you disable it, all you need to do is just, I would say, either reboot your router or just reboot your computer and then try again. You just exit out of here and all you got to do is try again and you'll notice you get 100 and 100% and you'll instantly load up in here and you know that it works. I know a lot of people are going to probably answer questions and I'm going to try to do my best if you specifically um, I can help you the best way I can. If I can't, I do apologize. If I can't do really do much thing, I do do nothing about it. I can't help you on your on your situation because all ISPs do things differently, and your ISP may or may not have this feature on their website remotely. So as as traditionally you can do. If you have, if you are able to have access to the online account credentials to their Wi-Fi router to your Wi-Fi router, then you can be able to do this simply. But if you're like a kid or something like that and you're under the age of 18 or you're specifically, you don't have those credentials and those credentials, your ISP does have this, but have that kind of feature, um, but you don't have no credentials, then this is gonna be a really bad day for you because you won't be able to do that until you do those changes and that's when it becomes handles like when you when you, if it happens on Windows and it works on Windows after you do the, the firewall exceptions etc cetera, etc cetera, through Plutonium through your computer and it works fine then that's great but if you already allowed firewall per, um, permissions and it's still having issues then you're gonna need those credentials in order to try going through the router and disable firewall if you if you do if you can uh, if your ISP does not have that paranormal feature on via ISP, then you I would suggest just disabling your firewall or lowering it to a lower tier um, preset setting. So this way you can be able to do that and it doesn't filter it out because your router and your ISP can filter out things if specifically if, if they feel it's a threat to your security and and as well theirs. So that's all I wanted to make for this video video and i hope you guys did enjoy leave a like if you did and if this helped you share it with others share it with friends and hopefully they can get theirs their problem fixed too thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace